Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply genetic algorithm to maximize the value of a function f of x is equal to x square. This is the solved example number one. The link for other examples is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given a function f of x is equal to x square. The main aim of this particular problem definition is to maximize the value of this particular function. The permitted values for x is between 0 to 31 that is the minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is equal to 31. Now uh, we will apply the genetic algorithm step by step and then uh, we will try to get the maximum value for this particular function. The first step in genetic algorithm is select an encoding technique to represent the solutions. We know that uh, the minimum value for x is equal to 0 and the maximum value is equal to 31. The solution will lie between 0 to 31 here. Now we need to represent this particular solution somehow. For that reason, uh, we need to use some encoding technique. In this case, uh, I am going to use uh, something called as a binary encoding technique. Now how many number of bits I suppose to use to represent this solution? That is the next question comes in front of us. To represent this uh, 31, uh, we need uh, 5 ones. So we will select 5 binary bits to represent the solution. So the 0 will be represented with 5 zeros and 31 is represented with 5 ones in this case. Once you select the encoding technique for representing the solution, next step is to select the initial population. From the available set of solutions, we need to select some of the solutions and then we need to apply the remaining steps of this particular genetic algorithm. So how many number of uh, solutions we need to select in initial population? For that reason, uh, we need to set the population size. For this particular problem definition, I have set the population size as 4. The meaning is from the available set of uh, solutions, we need to select 4 solutions. They will become the initial population for this particular genetic algorithm here. Now, uh, how to select them? The best way to select those uh, solution is randomly. From the available set of solutions, randomly we will select 4 solutions in this case. Uh, the calculations will be done in the form of table. So we, we need some set of columns as well as the rows here. Because I want to select uh, four solutions, I have written the string number as 1, 2, 3, 4. I need to know what is the sum of those particular uh, solutions, average as well as the maximum in this case. The initial population, uh, I have selected randomly these particular uh, four uh, solutions here. The x value for those solution is 12, 25, 5 and 19 they will be in the range of 0 to 31 here. These solutions were selected randomly. Now, once you select this particular initial population or the initial solution, we need to apply the fitness function and then we need to get the fitness score for each of these solutions. So, f of x is equal to x square, that is the fitness function here. In the first case, the value of x is equal to 12, f of 12 is equal to 144, Second time it will be f of 25 is equal to 25 square and so on. We will get the 144, 625, 25 and 120, 181 for each of these uh, solution. Once you get these uh, fitness values, we need to get the sum of these fitness values as well as the average and the maximum fitness value here. The sum of uh, fitness values is 11. 5, average is 288.75, maximum in this case is 625. This 625 value we got for the initial population. Now what we need to do here is, we need to select some of these particular solutions and then we need to apply the remaining steps of uh, genetic algorithm that is uh, crossover and mutation and we need to improve this particular 625 here. For that reason, we need to select some of these particular solution and then we need to apply crossover and mutation. But how to select uh, the solutions from this uh, particular uh, four uh, chromosomes? For that reason, first we will calculate the probability for each of these particular chromosomes. Now the question is how to calculate the probability? To calculate this particular probability, we use this equation. That is, probability is equal to f of x divided by summation of f of x here f of x is known to us that is 144 in the first case and uh, some of those particular uh, fitness values is also known to us that is one, 1155 here 
144 divided by 1155 is equal unto the probability here. Similarly, 625 divided by 1155 and so on for all those particular chromosomes or the solutions. Once you calculate this particular probability, we need to get the sum of these particular probabilities that is equal unto 1. The average of this particular probability is 1 divided by 4 and the maximum among these probabilities is 0.5411 here. Once you calculate this probability, we will convert this probability into percentage by multiplying the 100 to it. We will get this particular values. Once you get these uh, probability values, the next step is to calculate the expected count. The question is how to calculate the expected count. The formula to calculate the expected count is equal to f of xi divided by average of sum of uh, f of xi here. Now f of xi is known to us, average of f of xi is known to us. So what we do here is uh, we will calculate the expected count using that formula. In this case, the f of x is equal to 144 divided by the average that is known to us 288.75. Once you solve this particular thing, 144 divided by 288.75, we will get 0.4987. Similarly, 625 divided by 288.75, we will get this value. Similarly, we need to get the expected count for the remaining two chromosomes or the solutions. Once you get the expected count, we need to get the sum of expected count, average of expected count and the maximum value here. Now. The next step is to calculate the actual count. Actual count is uh, nothing but we need to round off this particular value to the nearest uh, integer number. 0.49 is almost equivalent to 0.5 here, which will be rounded to 1 in this case. Similarly, 2.16 is equivalent to 2, 0 0.08 is equivalent to 0, 1.25 is equivalent to 1 in this case. Those are the actual uh, counts in this case. Once you get this particular actual counts, we need to get the sum of those actual counts, average as well as the maximum in this case. Once you get the actual count, we need to select few of these particular initial uh, solutions for the next steps of genetic algorithm that is crossover and mutation. Now the question comes in front of us, how to select these particular solutions or the chromosomes? That can be done with the help of this uh, actual count. If you look at this particular third value that is equivalent to 0, the meaning of this one is this chromosome will not be selected further because the value of this particular chromosome or the solution is equivalent to 0 here. If you look at this particular first one, the value is equivalent or the actual count is equivalent to 1, the meaning is this will be selected one time, the second one will be selected two time, third one will not be selected and the fourth one will be selected one time here that will form the mating pool in this case. The mating pool contains the four chromosomes, first one as it is, fourth one as it is, the second one is coming two times here because the actual count of the second chromosome is two here. Once you get this particular mating pool, we need to apply the crossover on this particular mating pool so that we will get the next generation solutions or you can say that the offsprings over here. The question is how to select the crossover point. The crossover point is selected again randomly. In this case, I have selected the crossover point 4 for these particular two chromosomes, 2 for these two chromosomes here. Now, what is this particular 4? So, the 4 comes over here after 4 bits. Till 4 bits, there will not be any change. After 4 bits, there will be exchange of bits will take place. So, this 0 will come and sit here and 1 will come and sit here. So, once the 1 comes and sits over here, it will become 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 here and this will become 1, 1, 0, 0, 0 here. So that is what I have written here. Now for these two chromosomes, the crossover point randomly selected as 2. So after 2 bits, the remaining 2 bits you can see here. From here onwards, uh, there will be exchange. So these 3 bits will come and sit here, that is 0, 0, 1 and this 0, 1, 1 will come and sit over here you will get the new offspring as 110111000001 here. This is uh, the new offspring what we have selected by applying the crossover as well crossover on the selected uh, the solutions. Now we need to convert this particular uh, the offspring into the decimal value that is nothing but the x value here. The decimal equivalent of this binary number is equivalent to 13. The decimal equivalent of this binary number is equal to 24 and so on. 
once you get this uh, x value for this uh, new generation or the offspring we need to get the fitness score for each of these particular solutions that can be done with the help of uh, f of x is equal to x square the values are 169 576 729 and 289 the sum of these particular fitness values is 1763 average is 440.75 and the maximum value in this case is 729 for the original population the maximum value was 625 but after applying the first step of genetic algorithm that is nothing but the crossover we got the maximum value as 729 which is better than the previous uh, iteration over here now the next step is uh, to apply something called as the mutation the mutation is added to genetic algorithm because uh, we want to add some diversity to this uh, offspring here so this is what we have calculated in the previous step that is after applying the crossover we got this uh, offspring we need to know the mutation chromosome the mutation chromosome randomly i have written like this what is the meaning of this uh, mutation chromosome is the first bit should be flipped here the first bit is zero here it should be flipped to one in this case the second and third uh, mutation chromosomes are zero there is no need to do anything with respect to the second and the third chromosomes in the offspring fourth one we have two ones so this particular bit will be changed to one and this will be changed to zero over here after applying the mutation we will get uh, this offspring once you get this particular offspring or the new generation we need to get the decimal equivalent values once you get the decimal equivalent values we need to get the fitness values the fitness values are 841 576 729 and 400 here out of these particular values we have the maximum value as 841 the for the original one we have 625 after applying the crossover we got 729 after applying the mutation we got 841 which is better than the uh, value what we got after applying the crossover here so what we did is we started with some initial solutions we got the value for that particular function we applied all the steps of a genetic algorithm we got the value as 841 which is better than the original value of that particular function now the same thing has to be repeated again and again unless we will get the maximum value for this particular function that is f of x is equal to x square so what we need to do from this particular set of uh, new generated uh, solutions we need to select some of these solutions and then we need to apply the crossover after applying the crossover we will get the new generation and then we need to apply the mutation once you apply the mutation you will get the next generation after getting the next generation we need to get the fitness values definitely the fitness value will increase compared to the previous one the same thing has to be repeated again and again unless you will get the maximum value for this particular function so this is how the genetic algorithm is applied to a given function so that we will get the max maximum value or we can maximize the value of that particular function i hope the concept of uh, genetic algorithm is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching